motherfucking like look at first it popped off with motherfucking Jake Paul <laughs> I wanna go back to last episode when I was like hey, uh this nigga he's an athlete he's an athlete <laughs> he plays all sports she fucking plays yo, tennis yo this nigga got beat the fuck up bro man bro let, let me I'm getting lit getting lit I'm talking shit and I'm talking shit I'm getting lit on my savage shit. Oh, my savage. Fucking bulls. Young shit's just Jimmy Butler, though. You've never even been to Boston, and you're a fucking Celtics fan. <laughs> have Fuck you been to Chicago? <laughs> I've been. But have you been to O-Block? Why would I win? Exactly. Chicago is bigger than O-Block. O-Block is a block. Nigga. <laughs> oh, what about the rest O-Block of Chicago? is Chicago, my nigga. It's in Chicago. It's not Chicago. Man, take her to the O, It's bro. definitely, it's take a whole bunch o. of different places in Chicago. Take her to the O. I'm not, you just I'm saw not bro, going to the Why would bro, I go to these niggas? You just heard them say King Von is a serial killer, bro. Stop playing with the O. Some dirty white man on his fucking computer all night beating his meat to fucking X you don't, you don't believe that? You don't believe those Just made murders? this fucking documentary. But do you believe it? I just told y'all niggas on what episode that I said that I'm not believing none of these YouTube niggas no more. That's what got me fucked up with Tori and fucking Meg. Listening to YouTubers Why and shit. Do right, Why you nobody saying nothing to me? And I, got I thought hook, you wanted to do and that. And I got it hooked up over here like this. Hey, man. Nah, I did, bro, this some in-house. I'm going to sleep shit so the do-rag is not hanging on my neck. And Take my it neck off. Itch. That shit's sad, bro. Nigga, what? I'm, like, oh my god, those bitches <laughs> just spinning. Those bitches just spinning. Don't gas me, bro. Where did you get that? Don't gas me, bro. That's all right. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. God damn, nigga, Thank I'm you. fucking about to get seasick. Bro, don't, hey, listen, I can't stand when niggas gas me. God. Don't gas me. That's enough. I can't take it. I can't take the attention. This nigga got a haircut. <laughs> Them bitches are spinning. Nah. Golly, boy. Man, how's everybody Respect. doing there? Respect. I'm I'm locked, gang. You know what I'm saying. I ain't got no waves. That's all good. <laughs> I got naps. I mean, I tried to I tried to do the locks, and I just I just cut it. I don't know why. My hair would have been long if I didn't cut it. But <laughs> all right, man. Niggas just lo- welcome to the motherfucking Savage <laughs> Report. I'm your boy Louis V. This is my motherfucking guy Nino. Nino. We are here for a great, 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 great Sunday. It yeah. is beautiful outside. It is. It's actually hot as fuck. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not complaining, man. Let's get this show started, RJ. What's up? I'm going to let you. You got. You came with some bangers today. I'm going to let I you did. goddamn run this shit today. Well, first, man, let's start with this. Because we all saw the girl, who, the lady that went viral, mm-hmm. saying that she would never, that she wouldn't date a bus driver. Do you, do you know her name? Um, Yes. Find her name for a second. Yes, yes. So basically, she was saying that she wouldn't date a bus driver. She is a, uh, a multimillionaire, you know what I'm saying, college-educated graduate. Mm-hmm. And she said she would not date. She got a show. It's Ebony Williams, isn't it? Ebony Williams. She said on the Breakfast Club, or I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was an uh, interview with Iyanka. With Iyana Van Zandt, Fix My Life. Mm-hmm. I love her, and I love that show. Yeah, I love her because she said, I love her strength because the way DMX was talking to her, yeah. I wouldn't have had that strength. Yeah. That nigga was talking to her crazy. <laughs> yeah. But that's another story. But yeah, yeah, go ahead and get into Ebony K. Williams. Ebony K. Williams, mm-hmm. does she have a man? I don't think so. Okay, I, don't, I know she's not married. I, I, don't, I know she's not married. Did you hear her response to people saying that she was dead wrong for saying that shit? I mean, I heard, I heard that she held her, she held her own. She basically said that, um, you know, she just want black men, especially, to do better. Uh, she wants um, uh, people to take accountability, and we shouldn't just settle. Basically, what she said was a whole bunch of bullshit. I mean, to be honest, like, do, do you know that the ducks disposal guy makes fucking. Fifty plus thousand dollars a year, like like bus drivers, like this, like these are essential people. This is a bus driver getting people from place to place throughout the city. She says she wouldn't mess with him unless he uh, unless he owned the route. That shit to me sounds so dumb. But let me, I digress because she is a multi millionaire. So I I would imagine that she wants to have somebody that's in her tax bracket, maybe financially in the same situation. Okay, cool. What I don't fucking understand. Is when I log on to my Facebook and my Instagram and I see regular people working a nine to five like me saying, mm-hmm. oh, I wouldn't date a bus driver. It's just like, well, who the, who the fuck you think you're going to date? <laughs> like, like, do you really think you about the bag an NBA player? That's, that's like, you feel me? I saw some men saying, I saw, it's, it's so fucking crazy. I saw some men saying, I, well, I wouldn't date a hairstylist. What the fuck are you talking about? I would. It's hairstylists out here that's now, literally I'm a, making $60,000 a year. What, Ayana, what Ayana said made a lot mm-hmm. of sense. Like, 
a lot of people aren't dating or marrying out of love. Yeah. They are dating and marrying for financial reasons. That's why you end up her age single. For you sure. know what I'm saying? And like niggas don't want to like nah, like it's okay. Like it's okay to be with that strong single black woman. It's okay to do that. No one is no nobody one is, trying to stop no, you. No one's trying to stop you from doing that. Get your bread. But it's some things you have to compromise with if you want that that family and that relationship. And this is the thing, though, bro. I think I don't think it was something really wrong with what she said. It was the attitude behind it. Like, fuck, I'm too good for a bus this driver. Is, this is her response right here. Position and recognizing that I am actually speaking and pouring into the ascension of black men when I said what I said. But see, no, some of y'all were too busy naming and shaming me personally and black women in general as undesirable gold diggers and much worse. Now, I suspect that some of y'all are the same men that were bringing home C's and D's on your report cards, only to then be coddled by parents that said, well, that's okay, as long as you're doing your best. Well, listen, I love and believe in the excellence of black men. So no, my dear, C's and D's or any other form of mediocrity is not okay. No, I will not create a soft place for you or anybody that I love to fall comfortably into the bigotry of low expectations. So I'm going to say one more time, there's absolutely nothing wrong with driving a bus. My mother Gloria drove one for years. But could it be that black America has been sold a narrative of average, regular, and typical being good enough for us? Mm. Well, see, that's called white supremacy. And in this case, it takes the form of conditioning black Americans to happily accept being a permanent American underclass. But see, because I know the truth about black folk in America, no, average is not and will never be good enough for me. And the gag is, I don't think it's good enough for you, either. It's saying it seems like you just took an even worse stance. Than you you just, took the first time. You just dug a deeper hole. So, so this is this is what I'm saying. Like, just because you drive the bus does not mean that you made C's and D's. There are people who literally work nine to five jobs so they can support their fucking families. It's some people that will literally sacrifice. They're not willing to sacrifice their time with their children for their career. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people right now whose sons and daughters who are freaking multi-millionaires because of the sacrifices that their parents made. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's this is this is what I'm saying. People like her, they're lost in the sauce, bro. Everything is financial, money, 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 money. Bro, in this in today's time, bro. People, mediocrity. The, the word, yeah, medi- mediocrity, average, bro. The average person, the average life, the average person is working a, a nine to five job. You know what I'm saying? The average person is having a family. The average person is raising their kids and going to school recitals. The average person is taking their, their, their child to soccer practice. That's what the fuck the average person is doing. Like, we have to stop this hate. Of the word average. Everybody isn't meant to be a fucking Wall Street executive. Everybody isn't meant to be the newest R&B singer. Everybody isn't meant to be a six, five foot ball player, bro. You need somebody to drive that city bus to get people who can't afford to have a car from point A well, that city, to point that B, That city bro. bus driver might be the high school football coach that's shaping up futures. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just never know, man. And, like, that goes back to what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people aren't dating for for like love and actually like the person that they're dating and wanting to marry. They end up marrying somebody on a financial basis and you disguise that for love and it's not love. Yeah. You're gonna find yourself by yourself or fucking beat the fuck up or fucking in a terrible relationship or you know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's a lot of fucking a lot of thinking that people gotta do. This shit right here should expose how crazy Iyana made her look without even fucking trying. Man, you know what I'm this might be a stretch bro, but when I hear stuff like that, bro, I see like I don't see self love. Like I see, I see self hate. Like you're trying so, you're trying so much to get away from everybody else because all these celebrities and, and and rich people, they are few in numbers compared to the motherfucker that's waking up in the morning and going to work at the mm-hmm. bank. Or see the 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 mediocrity 
Americans are the ones that join the military and fight for this country. The motherfuckers that she talking about don't fight for shit but themselves. Like you got like the the, low, the lower cut, the lower class, the middle class people are the ones who send their sons and daughters to go fight in these wars, to go over there and sacrifice their fucking lives. So so are are they good enough to to be on the forefront of a war and not good enough to be the date you? And you know this, what I'm saying? Like and this <laughs> and this whole thing that people don't have aspirations like that bus driver could literally have a lawn service on the side. Like that's how life works. People have their main jobs, and then everybody has dreams and aspirations on the side. Like I will start their life over again when they retire their job. Bro, you got a whole new career, a whole new hobby. Hobbies turn into careers when you got down. You know what I'm saying? When you when you retire from your day job, that that's supporting the bills. Like a lot of people, like bro, like really your forties and fifties and sixties is a whole new life, bro. For a whole work, new fucking life. I work a whole nine to five, and on the side, I do a podcast. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? On the side, I do I do media design. Like you feel me? For somebody like for her to say that, she just seems disconnected. And I saw she tried to clean it up with saying, you know, white supremacy, C's or D's, average, mediocrity. I ain't never seen all, white supremacy all, thrown bro, into to your bullshit. It's, it's like, your bullshit. All not that sh- one white person was involved. Nobody was involved. Not one. <laughs> everybody involved was melanated. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like to hear her to hear her go to that extreme to cover up her just saying like I wouldn't date a bus driver because I feel like that's below me. You feel me? There yeah. was no way for her to cover it up. That's how she felt. That's it's how a, a that, bus driver was below her. Yeah, yeah. What else she got over there? Oh man, we both in relationships. Now, let me ask you this: Would you ever be in an open relationship? Would you nah. ever just straight like that? I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. That's how you bring diseases around. That's how you end up fucking up. Like open relationships. Like if I'm if we're together, right, and you out here fucking other people, I've been in an open relationship. But you know what that's called? Fuck buddies. Yeah, <laughs> like that's all it is. But I could. You know, I could not look my lady in the eyes after knowing she was just fucking someone. After knowing somebody just went pound pound crazy on that day, look her in her eyes and knew that somebody just took her to town. Like you know, after, you know when you digging something out and you just like, man, I'm I got them. I handle my business. Woo. Yeah. I can't look at her and and know that somebody just somebody sitting at home like, yeah, like I just got them. Yeah. Did my thing. Like I I can't, bro. Yeah, I can't, bro. I'd be so disgusted. You, leave, she, you got you at yeah. home with the kids, and where's she going? Are them kids even your kids? Are they my kids? She like, could be like, "Hey, I'm not. Hey, I'm just going to Subway right quick to grab a quick, uh, quick sandwich, son." I'm thinking she's getting dug out because yeah. that's just. Yeah. But some people are. Some people are okay with that. Like they're just like, yeah. Some niggas. Some people definitely are into the lifestyle. The lifestyle. The lifestyle. I saw one video where a, <laughs> I saw one video where a lady introduced her husband. To her boyfriend, mm-hmm. and the husband just was just like, well, "I just want to make you, I want to make you happy." Like, and he was so open to it, and I just was like, "This, I don't use this word a lot, but I was like, this nigga is a simp." What we call a simps, simp, simp for simple, cuckold for some other people. <laughs> some yeah. people like cuckolds, man. Some people like that shit. Like, bro, I've been offered to fuck a dude's wife before. Word, I've been in a situation where I was. <laughs> Let's get it out Get it out You were doing it and Nah I didn't do it But I had the opportunity to But it was just like Bro wanted, I wasn't with it Because bro wanted to watch Oh uh, yeah And that's just weird bro Would, that, would, it, is, would it weird Or would it make you feel like Would it make you feel gay Like yo I'm We're, not, we're not running Because if y'all were both Busting her down That's a train If it's wasn't just both you wasn't busting her down He was just Supposed to be watching her Like Watching you know her get bust down. I can I can see somebody I can see somebody saying, you know what, that's weird. He'll be over there and I'll, I'll just In be knocking corner her down. like that nigga on Dave Chappelle. But <laughs> now listen, if he started doing that, if bro started like beating off beating his shit. meat, you I, I'll probably be like, whoa, this thing turned into a whole yeah, other I atmosphere. I wasn't fucking Why with is that. your man out? We're not running a train on her. You out with like <laughs> Man, look, man. All I know is it's people out here that really, really enjoy cuck holding, and it's people, it's dudes out here that that shit turns them on. Like the whole aspect yeah. of being humiliated, embarrassed, that's a turn on for them. It's people out here like that. It's women who do the same shit. You know, it's never, literally more. You know what I'm saying? It's women out here who let that nigga let they nigga go out here and cheat, 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 and be like, I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, them bitches ain't done. They ain't no yeah. different than them as niggas. As long as he don't bring no baby in this house, like, yeah. like, oh, like word. Bro, I don't watch Steve Wilkos and I don't watch yeah. Paternity Court and nigga. The nigga, 
done cheated, had multiple babies on them. Well, I'm married. I'm gonna stay here with my husband. All right, them bitches is the same thing as them niggas that be out here letting their wife get pounded down and cream pied and they suck it out. You know. Now listen, I know I know everybody has a past, right? You know, you can't judge. You can. You can. You can. (laughs) Do whatever you going. You can. You You can judge people by their past, but but the past is the past. Sometimes, (laughs) could you be with a woman? That was in one of those videos with the white guys where they just fucking the hell out they throw it and they throw it oh, up like, in the bowl. Like, uh, 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 what do they call? Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. It's uh, it's real. Latina abuse and nigger bitch. Oh. And ch- and they be saying oh, some wild oh, shit. Oh, fuck. They be saying some wild shit. She throw up in the bowl and then he yeah. put her face in the. Could bowl. I be in a relationship? Could I be in a relationship with After that person? the fact, like five years, five years later, and y'all are talking, and she's like, "Hey, um, I, I did it. some things. I want to show you. I want to show you a video." And you see the video, and she is just, she's throwing up in the bowl, the face is in the bowl. You know, a face smack. What the fuck You're a dirty is that slut. called, man? Man. Uh, that's a real thing. Yeah, it yeah is. that's a real thing, Johnny. Go to, uh, go to Pornhub. Could I, could, I, could I be with a girl like that? Could you look past that? In the long, nah, I couldn't be in a relationship with a girl like that. Yeah. But could I bust her down? Yes. If I was single, yes, yeah. I would definitely. But I'm a, I'm a nasty nigga, man. Listen, <laughs> so I think a, a lot, bro. A lot of guys will say it, like a lot of guys will hit anything in the right time in the right moment. If, if it's not diseased, uh, it depends on what it look like. A lot of guys would fuck. A lot anything. of guys would hit anything. A lot of guys. I'm not saying. I'm not saying me. But we gotta keep with the buck. I've been. Hit, I've been hit some undesirables. You ever seen the Facebook? In a time. You ever seen the Facebook page Deadbeat Dads? The Richmond one? It's one all over. The, every time you see the oh, bitches, my. let's keep it a bug. You bitches will fuck anything too. Anything. Like, like let's 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 keep it a real, bro. Like I done seen a lot of y'all baby daddies. Them niggas is fucking ugly. And I don't want to. And, and trust me, I don't want to hear nothing about you not fucking dating the bus driver. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. hear shit about that. Yeah, you not Ebony. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like chill out. Let her. But she can get by. A with lot it. of these niggas definitely. De- I, I I know niggas. That them fuck some things. I'd be like, wow, that's what tax season coming into yeah. play. You know what I'm saying? It's some niggas that done hit some crazy looking Jones, bro. And you know how you know how I know they hitting them? It's because they stay pregnant. Mm-hmm. Them Jones stay Baby pregnant. Baby number four and five. Man, I'm talking about what the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck, man? And then it's like, bro, like some of them bitch, some of them 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 crazy looking Jones be having regular nigga baby daddies. Like yeah. not even like baby daddy matched them. <laughs> These they be having niggas you know that he be slipped up one night. And you like, know, <laughs> hit that bitch raw. This one time. nigga, what? Like this nigga kid. This nigga's getting like bad bitches. Yeah, and his baby, and that's one of his baby mamas mm-hmm. though. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's really how the rappers be like before they get on. Like, like uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, uh, all of them. Shit, money bag yo, money bag yo. <laughs> Lil Dirk, all like all the niggas. Look, hold on, hold on though, because Lil Lil Dirk, baby mama, people keep calling her ugly. I don't think she's Man, ugly. Put up a picture, bro, because I don't think that girl is Lil Dirk, the just, white the white girl. I just threw her. I just threw her in there because I heard that name. Yeah, so. we kind of quit saying that. About yeah, my her. bad. Put some my respect bad, on her name because um, I don't think she's ugly, bro. I don't think she's ugly, and I don't even. But I like ghetto, so I'm, you know I'm such what I'm bro. I'm such a nice person. I can find the beauty in everybody. I promise you. I can find the beauty in everybody. <laughs> you can be ugly, that ugly, and I will find. I will okay, find. Okay, she got a credit card uh, company. Um, you know what I'm saying? She got some shit going on for her. She is not ugly, bro. I don't think she's ugly at all. Let me see a picture. Cause I, I, if I don't find her um pretty, I'll let you. Know. She got two kids from Lil Dirt. Mother. Oh, her her the first thing on her Instagram is Mother of Smirkio, Mother of Lil Smirkio. That's her. These are old pictures too. I don't think she's ugly. I apologize. They just saw Mother her. They talk, what, what they did is they took pictures of her while she was in her element. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like while she was like, I don't give a fuck what don't y'all talking about, man. Like y'all niggas is these, bro. We are not fine a hundred percent of the time, bro. Like it's times when like. Bro, I got on basketball shorts and no shirt on. I know I look like a fucking dad. My stomach poking out. I don't look like this. I'm not this beautiful person 100% of the fucking time. You Mo- feel me? Most people that see me, bro, from the show and be like, yo, it's how's your port? They see me at work, bro. And I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> like, bro, like, I'd be burnt out. Like, bro, if, like, bro, if I'm in the, if I'm out, if I'm back home 
with my family and shit. Nigga, I'm not looking fly 100% of the time. I might be out there with some sweats, some, some fucking new balances, a white t-shirt. Might eat some seafood, get some stands in that shirt. Like, bro, like, we got to quit acting like, nigga, we're fucking dolled up and dressed down 100% of the fucking time, bro. Like, I saw somebody avoid me in a store one time because they was ugly. Because they, I, I guess it was early morning and they was just rushing to get, to get like some food. And I, I found that so, I, I was like, what the fuck are you, in my mind, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that but big of a deal. But let me ask you this. Have you ever took one for the team? I've, no, I never had to take one for the fucking team. You've always been the setter upper and the last. Yeah, no, you're not putting the ugly friend on me. You wouldn't. You wouldn't never take one for the team. I never had to. I've never been in that predicament. I haven't been in the predicament where like the homie brought the girls over mm-hmm. and then I'm stuck with the ugly one. Most of the time, I'm already got. My, I already got. A, you know, I, back in them days, I've always had like a some some kind of girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Like I might be a little bit of a whore. You have been, you have been like a, kind of like been a relationship in, guy. I've been in relationships, you know what I'm saying. So it's like I either I already had a girlfriend, and I wasn't about being that predicament, or my girlfriend is one of the girls that's coming over, mm-hmm. or I'm already a lock to get this, to get the one that's not ugly. Mm-hmm. I'm never left <laughs> with the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? I just I'm haven't already a lock. I ha- yeah, like I haven't been that. Like most of the time, I'm not even staying for the mission. If I'm not guaranteed no coochie, you're part of you. <laughs> <laughs> like just keep you, it. You were part. You were part of the the first the first days when they first walk in. Like I'm like she already know. Like bro, first of all, I already. I'm not. I'm not the surprise friend. I'm not mm-hmm. the oh she coming over. She might. You might. I've never been one of those. Maybe I'm meeting this girl gonna fuck on the first night type of nigga. Like nah. Like most times we set it up. Oh, let me get a phone number. Yeah. We texting and talking. We getting the vibe for each other before we even do that. Come on, because I'm not, bro. I'm going home if I'm not getting the cheeks. <laughs> I'm not hanging out. I'm not gonna be the nigga on the couch while y'all out there getting busy. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Like I'm not because I always got somewhere else I can go. Yeah, it's always like, I'm, else. I'm not about to sit up here and be on like, oh damn. So what's up, man? Oh nah, we just met. Nah, shorty. Nah, like I didn't. I didn't back then. Back in my single days, I didn't turn down a, a few of the. Yo, the friends is coming through and they weren't looking up the par. Nah, I'm good. Like she's gonna have to sit on the couch. Yeah, man. yeah. You go and get her friend wide back there, and I guess we just gonna watch MTV you jams. Know what's crazy? Now I think about it, bro. The part the reason why I never been in that predicament is because most of the time was all the girls are ugly, or they or they not on anything. I'm already leaving out. It's never. <laughs> like, I'm already peacing out. I'm already on some. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. <laughs> if all of them ugly, yeah. Uh, oh, all right, y'all. Yeah, I gotta get up out of here. But I, I'll say this, man. Shout out to my friends. Back in those days, I don't feel like my friends really bought any, any ducks, any ducks through. You know what I'm saying? But I have been in a predicament where, like, I right, let's put it like this: if the girls come over, right? Yeah. And we ever think that maybe they the one taking it for the team? Damn! <laughs> like we just we think, never, we just we, we, we sexy think as about fuck. that. Yeah. We never we always think like, okay, me and my niggas, we sexy as fuck. Yeah. We gonna fuck all the bitches, but I feel like more girls take one for the team than niggas because, bro, niggas be ugly, bro. That's true. <laughs> like niggas but be ugly. I can. Bro. I, I'm just vouching me. Every time they said, well, uh, put I'm your, not the one they taking the team. Every time, they, every time they said, put your friend on the phone, and then I, I didn't pop up like, <laughs> yo, what's up? It's it's always been good on my end. So but I'm pretty old, so a lot of time we didn't have FaceTime. Yeah, we didn't oh, have FaceTime. What's, until what's, I was like, what's, what's they uh Facebook or MySpace <laughs> or whatever it is? <coughs> yeah, but I'm looking at some of my homeboys. I'm like, do you might do you might <laughs> they might have to take one for the team. <laughs> but it's it's, <laughs> it's so funny though. Back in those days, bro, like you just knew what friends to involve. In those scenarios. Yeah, me and my niggas, yeah, yeah. You just knew. Because yeah. I remember one time, it was one friend that we, me and the homie Kyle, you know what I'm saying? We we bust a joint down one night. And like, everybody bust a joint down with Kyle. <laughs> everybody. Kyle niggas a drunk buster down there. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so we bust a joint down, right? Yeah. And like, this is a long time ago too. One of the other homies was there. Yeah. But he, 
she wasn't trying to fuck with him. She that's with it. that's where the take one for the team come to play. Yeah. That he was just he just wasn't up to par with what was going on. We was we was with it. See like back she, back in those bro back in those days we was just so witty with it. Yeah, so quick. So I, I don't want to try to say like oh niggas was popular, but back then like we was just so witty. Yeah. and quick. Like, but she was with like but she she already knew I was coming over. We was smoking and like it was one of them things like it just happened like you know, but it was we was with it. The worst the most embarrassing thing I just seen bro was in the midst of a train and then everybody everybody doing their thing and then that one person come up and she like uh no and it's it's just like <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> but now look 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 so me and Kyle busting the jump down right and the homie I guess he was kind of I, I think the reason why he didn't get hit on was because I'm gonna say some names when we done <laughs> it was because he was awkward. He was an awkward ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just like just lingering. Like he wasn't really yeah. He wasn't really like so. What's up? Like we was on some. She was with. The, she was a bona fide yeah. freak. This wasn't her first rodeo. You know what I'm saying? Like it was her first rodeo with me, but not with Kyle. Like apparently Kyle done did this a couple times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? with this girl. So I got an invite. Come over. Bro, over just looking all queer in the face and shit. And I'm like, okay, we took it, but I know he heard it. It was a whole bunch of ah, like screaming and shit. Like it was <laughs> fucking wild in there, bro. I'm gonna say one. I'm gonna say so one we, story. Hold, 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 so we get, so we get done. We get done. You know what I'm saying? I got down, pack my shit up, and I'm out. Yeah. As I'm leaving, you know what I'm saying? I I, I got down, my smoking the blunt. I'm walking to the front door. As I'm leaving, she coming. She's right behind me. This nigga says. Hey man, I hate to see you go. <laughs> she said, she just kept walking like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, please. Oh. oh shit. Look at them cat like reflexes. Oh shit. Uh, man. But nah, bro. That's most funny. awkward <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. Nigga said, hate to see you go. <laughs> I would have turned around like, yo. She said, what the fuck? <laughs> she, just ah, ah. she just got bust down, bro. She teed you up. I would be like, bitch, you just got trained. You ain't going to embarrass me. Like, she said, what the fuck? <laughs> it just walked off. It's always one nigga lying about. It's one. It's always one nigga lying about hitting the jump too, bro. Like yeah, nigga, I hit oh, that too. God, like, oh man, hey bro, look, bro, like Yo, shout out to my man. Hey, shout out to my man, Kyle. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell a story, bro, because <laughs> everybody, everybody, and hey, listen, the truth is, everybody didn't train something with my dog Kyle. It just is. What it is. <laughs> I remember one time, bro, I pulled up around the spot. I had, I had, met, I went to Wawa to get a sub. Uh-huh. And that just happened. I saw some girl there. And when I got back around Calway, I'm just scrolling his computer. And I seen the same girl. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, bro, I just seen her at Wawa. She was checking me out. Bro was like, oh, yeah, mom. Well, her, her friend about to come through. I'll tell her and come through, too. Bro, I remember she pulled up. And I remember I tried to go in, in, in a different a different area. You know, he was doing his thing over there. And, bro, so it's so crazy. Cal Drunk was like, where are y'all at? Come to the bed, bro. That shit was a... Wild night. It was a wild night, bro. I just had to throw yeah. it out there because everybody has ran a train with my nigga Kyle, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we was some wild everybody niggas has. back in the day. We was some wild niggas back then. And then when I got to like my mid 20s, I started having like threesomes with myself, mm-hmm. like me and two girls. Mm-hmm. It was like, yo, those are those are those are some of the That's wildest wild. days. Yeah. There's a lot of drugs involved back then. Damn. I went through a little phase, y'all. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. can I say? You know what I'm saying? I was smoking a lot of weed. I was fucking drinking a lot. Maybe a little cocaine here and there. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Say what you want to say about me. I had a great 20s. My yeah. 20s was filled with traveling. My 20s was filled with sex. And I had my motherfucking kids. And I was handling my my fatherly duties. I was married all through my 20s. You was married all through your 20s. You missed the train. No, 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 no. I still, I, I jumped, I, I was a, a jumped off the porch early kid. I was a 14 kid out there. You know what I'm saying? I had all these experiences. But you didn't have a threesome, though. I have never... You gotta you should at least knock that off your bucket list. And I and honestly, bro, when you're a man and you're in the middle of a threesome, you feel like a slut. Yeah, I felt like such a slut, a dirty slut, bro. These bitches are just having their way with me. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> just yeah, right there. yeah. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe, maybe I'm just there. Maybe not a threesome, but an, enough. I've had enough experiences to just be like, I'm cool now. I don't gotta sit back and try to. Yeah. Remit, I don't feel like I'm I'm missing out. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's some guys who still haven't experienced 
smashing an older woman. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, is dangerous. Stay away from them older women if you're uh, if you're in your twenties, man. Stay away from them. They will ruin your life. Older women know exactly what the fuck they That's want. That's what I'm saying. No, going, and then they'll break your heart. I'm telling yeah. you, them older bitches gonna break your heart. They you know see, exactly. Did what you they watch want. the shot? I haven't. I haven't seen it since the girl got kidnapped. I'm done. I'm done talking to you. You I have just, to I, know this stuff if we're gonna be on the podcast. I haven't stuff. seen it since the girl got kidnapped, bro. Oh my I'm god! Sorry. What Keisha, else you got? What other conversations? The you Keisha. Got let me see. Oh, this is it. Speaking of girls, since we talking about girls and girlfriends, okay. woman, would you? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> am I gonna get checked for saying girl? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. In a, when you're in a relationship with a girl or girls, when you relationship with your men, do you think you can tell your significant other like what to wear or? If you have a, tr- a a problem with her wearing something to reveal them, she'd say, "Yo, take that off." Or do you think it's just, that's insecure shit? I had this happen. I'm glad she brought this up. I had this happen one time. This happened in, in a relationship I was in, a short relationship I was in, mm-hmm. where this girl wanted to go outside with this shirt on, and she had these fucking her titties was out, and I told her, "That's not what you were when I met you." And mm-hmm. I'm not with that. Like, yeah. he wasn't dressing like this when I met you. I can understand if I met you, your titties were out. Mm-hmm. I couldn't be mad. But when I met mad. you, you were fully clothed. You didn't even give off these type of vibes. No, I was like, so now all of a sudden, you want to go outside with this see through shirt on with your nipples out. Mm-hmm. I'm not with that. If you can go out there and you can do that, all power too. We can be cool. We can even still fuck around if you want to. <laughs> but you're not going to be my girlfriend yeah. doing that. And that was it. And that was the end of that relationship. Bro, thinking of this question, I was really thinking of an experience that I had, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I met my friend and his girl while they were out one time, like, mm-hmm. like downtown somewhere. And when I was walking towards them, I was just like, yo, like, I can see her. I can see her breasts. I can see her breasts. Like, it's not like the shirt was just like a sheer and her titties was out. The areolas, everything just was there. Yeah. And That's disrespectful as fuck. I was so, I was so uncomfortable for him because I was like... Maybe he didn't. Maybe he's been beside her all day. I'm going to look at. He never got in front of her to see what she was doing. I'm going to look at them titties. I just, I just, I just got off like a weakness vibe from him. Like, bro, why you a weak ass? Yeah, bro. But then you got, then you got the other guys that's just like, I'm so secure with my woman, and she want to look sexy. Does not mean you have to look like a fucking clown. Like these niggas be letting these women say what the fuck they want to say, and y'all niggas don't be having no backbone to yourselves, Mm -hmm. nigga. Bitch, you ain't going outside with no fucking titties <laughs> out. Your ass out. None of that shit. If you want to, you can. Not my girl. Not my girl. That's it. It's no. If she, that's it. You niggas so afraid of somebody else fucking your girl and losing your girl that you'll let that girl do whatever the fuck she want to do to you. And then she and, still get fucked. And she still get fucked. And then y'all still gonna, end up not together. Nah, guess what? She getting fucked regardless because now I'm eye fucking them titties. I'm going <laughs> to look at them. I'm going to look at them titties. I'm sorry, bro. You out here with them titties out. Why did you wear that? For me to look at them titties, and you know, it's sometimes me and my wife go Weak out. Ass nigga. Sometimes me and my wife go out, and what? she get she get real sexy, like she get dolled up, but she don't like she don't got her nipples out, I'm and not she don't be able to see your fucking tits. Yeah. You your not fucking gonna... ass. I shouldn't see your fucking. I should not see your thought. It's respect or that bottom. To shit. Yeah, that bottom. Like, you know what what the saying? fuck are you doing? Put some fucking clothes on. Like I, I got get it. It's the real life. If you want to date a quote unquote Amber Rose type of slut. Then fucking do that. Twenty one, twenty one. Let, let her. He don't date her. No, don't do twenty one. But he like did, that. And, and he and held, he went through a phase. And look and how weak he held he up. Fucking he looked. held up the slut. And sign. look how fucking. And you know the sign said, "I'm a slut." The type of shit that he was doing. <laughs> that shit made him look weak as fuck during that moment in time. This nigga went back to talking about <laughs> crazy bodies. <laughs> nigga out here rapping about killing niggas. Out here talking about I'm a slut. I'm a slut. Come on, twenty one. I wish one of my niggas would have been like, "I'm a slut." I'd be like, "What the fuck, what nigga? Me? What? Let me tell you something." But. The that fuck nigga, you talking about, That my nigga guy? realized, but one thing about it, though, one thing about it, bro, like, that nigga realized the error of his ways, and he back on that savage shit, man. And we're one thing, I gotta Shout say this, bro. 21, man. I gotta say this, bro. We can't sit here and act like women aren't sexual beings. Like, if you want to be, you, women can be as sexual, liberated as they want. I just don't feel like that's a perfect match man, what for it me is or is, who I am. Like, what it is, you, is this society likes to only care about the ones who them themselves victims Mm -hmm. that's why like they don't care like okay like i was saying on one show they they don't they act like there's no women out here who want to be gang banged (laughs) i'm dead ass they act like every like when i watched this video of these guys running a fucking train on this girl like i'm talking about like four niggas just in there fucking this girl this girl was not crying this girl mouth was open this girl ass was open she was spreading cheeks with her own hands you're not and every time this girl just got gang raped where do you see rape gang at raped. where do you see rape at 
They act like some of these girls do not. And that's a fetish for them. Yeah, there are all type of fetishes out here. When I said that, not everyone who gets an abortion is a fucking victim. There are women out here like, yeah, she's doing that. Okay, bitch, that's you. She was forced. That no, 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 no. They, no they, what they're saying is she is a victim. She had to get this shit scraped off her shit. Look, shorty, to you, that's a victimization. That is a victim to you. But to the actual woman who's getting it. There are not every last one of those women feel like this abortion is a negative thing. Yeah. They do like stop speaking for all women. They think because they're a victim of something and they feel like this, then every woman falls into that category. It, yeah. Some women, they get multiple abortions. Serial abortionists. Some women literally go get abortions because they do not want the baby to ruin their lives. You know they, they don't want is? to be a single mom. They go get abortions, they say I I, don't, I can't take that more than after pill. It mess up my my goddamn something. And then they just go get the abortion, bro. We, some women just do that shit. We gotta stop acting like people are always victims, bro. We gotta stop acting like that shit. Mm-hmm. That's, I hate this victim ass society, bro. Like everyone's hurt. <laughs> like, I'm dead ass. Like everyone's a fucking victim. Everyone. Mm-hmm. Like bro, put it like this. You know who? Like, one thing I can't agree with women on. Is that uh, in society, they a lot of times what they want gets overshadowed by what society wants. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of women, like like put it like this, we are literally going like men are literally going to women's bathrooms and 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 like I belong here. I belong here, mm-hmm. and no one is ever asking naturally born women. Like, the majority of naturally born women do not want this bullshit going on. They want to be able to go to the locker room and be with other women. Like, has his been, on, has his been for centuries. Oh, no, I got to give you some pushback. What? I actually think that it is natural born women who are enabling this to happen. The trans community is not as big as the natural born women community. I think, I think that's their strongest ally. It's, it's, it's honestly, it's not heterosexual men. It, it's not heterosexual men. I don't know. It is, it's, it's females that are saying, you know what, Do you know what, James, you are a woman, bro. I'm telling you this. You're right just now, as women bro. as me. It's a lot of women out here who are not fucking with that. That's a small majority. Like, social social media and the media in general makes you think that this small number of people who think like that mm-hmm. are the majority, but it's not. It's, I'm, I promise you, it's not. You can't go on the street right now and ask how many. I guarantee you, ask, if you had t- 100 women like in the streets right now, no social media, none of that other shit, and you ask them, would they think that these transsexual men should be able to, to share, nat- be, be able to go to prison with women, should be able to share bathrooms with women, locker rooms with women, just because they feel like they are women. If, if you ask the majority, the, I promise you, I, I, my opinion is it's going to outweigh the number of women who say, yes, I'm 100% comfortable. Because, yes, bro, sir. we just saw a town, hall, a, town, city, a town hall meeting with a young girl, a high school girl, who said that she does, a majority of the women in her school do not feel comfortable with these men who are... Just claiming to be women mm-hmm. who are in there with their fucking penises and, and all the other shit. Like, no one. Why is your penis hard? I don't know, but I'm a woman. No one just thinking of, like, no one is act, even asking that. They just assume that mm-hmm. they don't want to get canceled. So, you're okay, yeah, you're allowed to. And this is in California. Mm-hmm. They're allowed to. You should, it's your right. But they're not even asking a lot of naturally born women how they feel about this shit. They yeah, don't but, even call mm-hmm. them natural. They don't even call them women no more. They call them cis women. They're not even women. There's, these is, are actually women. What is the cis thing? What is that? Does, is, just a, per, a regular fucking person. <laughs> is that like everything, <laughs> everything is the, everything is the, is the, like, bro, I, I, that this community is the biggest victim community I've ever fucking seen. I saw, <clears> I, bro, I was on World Star right, and I saw a trans, uh, a beat trans up, woman, beat up a little girl, beat up a girl. I, I didn't say that one, but I'm pretty sure it's happened. I saw it a did. trans woman and say she went into like a like a panel and said, "I have nothing to say. I just in order for me to show off the genocide of trans women, I'm just going to scream into the mic." And then she just for the next five minutes just screamed ah! down her lungs into the mic, and it just was like, I I kind of I kind of feel bullied in this whole situation. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Bro. I'm taking the stands, Johnny. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there are trans people. Who are I feel bullied. there are trans people who do get targeted 
Of course. And they do get abused and they do get murdered and killed. And you know what I'm saying? They 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 do have shit. That is true. That happens. But there are a lot more to trans people who put themselves in these predicaments <laughs> by doing shit like that. By doing shit like fighting women. Like 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 you're I I don't give a fuck what the fucking what kind of wig you put on or what kind of fucking You better get knocked the fuck out. I don't give a fuck, bro, but you're not gonna put your hand you're not like bro, you you had this you had that woman, that transgender person that was in the MMA mm -hmm. and beat bust this woman's head open. You put that same motherfucker in there with a man though. You get fucked up. Get fucked up. But like but back to back to what I was saying though, even though I think there's a large a large amount of natural born women would just be like, I'm not fucking with this. I, it's, lie. I'm not with it. I just feel like the natural born women that do agree with it, it I don't think vastly, it outweighs. I think it vastly outweighs the amount of heterosexual men who are just like, hey, listen. How many women you know that's with it? I don't want I don't I don't know. I don't know no men. How many I, in this room right now, how many women do we know that is cool with trans men, trans women saying that they're women? They out. They are more women than them, saying that they they should be able to use their locker rooms and 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 fucking private bathrooms and and should be able to get the same type of treatment that they get as far as like uh 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 um you do know what I'm trying to say. Trippy toe. How many y'all know? Trippy toe. I don't I don't know no women or no men that agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But it, well, social it, media in my part of, in my that. part of town, that shit is so foreign. That shit is so foreign. Well, social right media will make you. They will literally take a going to college campus somewhere, and yeah, you're gonna have a whole group of this type of shit going on on the college campus. But as Americans, I do not believe that that shit outweighs the vast people who was not with it. So I think it? that they just the. I think that losing money. On certain situations, like if you sell products that trans people use, then yes, that's going to affect you. But for the average person, that trans shit almost killed Budweiser. The fuck? <laughs> what was it, Bud Light? But, that shit almost destroyed yeah. the company. It's, it's a, trying to be it's, progressive. Go ahead. It's a lot of people out here that's not fucking with all this. You know why, bro? Because I, I hate to say it, bro, especially in the South, a lot of people are still on fucking man, wife, relationships, getting married, raising kids. Mm -hmm. Southern values are fucking big and the South yeah. is big, bro. Meet, like, a, bro. meet a woman, uh, meet, a, meet a woman, meet a man, and Christian get Andy married, is the number have one kids. Christian Andy is the number one religion in this fucking country, bro. Mm -hmm. Christian Andy, bro, there are just as many Christians as it is fucking LGBTQ, RSTUV, WXYZ. -Y -Z. I'm just saying, bro. Listen, man, you know what? And it's one it's, thing, it's one thing to to be gay, it's one thing to be uh, trans and, and and to to fight for your naturally born rights. That's one thing, but some shit is almost like being forced into inclusion, and that's what we don't want. We don't want to anyone to make us do something that we don't feel comfortable with when yeah. our voice is not even heard on the subject. And I was joking, bro, but that's what that's what I meant when I said like the bullying thing. This has now turned into bullying. Like like when you when the bully comes and takes your lunch money, you have no say in that. You feel me? That might be a drastic example, but this is what it's turned into. A lot we don't, of we don't have no say in this shit. Straight it's, people don't have no say. no say in nothing. Honestly, to some people, what we're saying is extremely homophobic, is dangerous. I'm not afraid of you. A, pho a phobia. A phobia <laughs> I'm not afraid of, of you. you. I'm not afraid of you. I can, I can coexist. Yeah. I can literally, I do not think that trans and gay people should not be able to raise or have a family. I do not think that they shouldn't be able to live the life that they want to live. All I'm saying is do not force your values on me the same way I don't want Christianity's Christian, Christians forcing their fucking values on me yeah. or any other facet of life forcing their values on, on me. I do not want if I don't feel comfortable with my daughter going to the bathroom yeah. with a grown man or uh, to me, with a grown man or a transsexual person, if I don't feel comfortable with that, how come I have to be forced to do that? Mm -hmm. I don't understand that, especially in the places where you're not even that, your community isn't even that big. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. And honestly, it's been a whole bunch of of, of pedophilia that's being tied in with this trans, with this trans, trans shit, too. Like, it's a lot of people who are going to abuse 
Oh the yeah, shit that y'all fight for because y'all won't even just like, just to, just to get in a fucking bathroom with a a, a, a little child. It's, it's gonna be shit like that. Bro, it's gonna be it's grown men who are identifying as babies. There's grown men who are identifying as children. And I, I think I think I think that attack that 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 lady went and shot the uh, the school up the trans the trans person. Uh huh. Even though the kids have not, and not a damn thing to do with that. I think those attacks are going to happen more and more. It's going to be attacks on just straight. Or cis or heterosexual, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be a tax on straight people, bro. Man, it's just, I just, I just really want the radicals to stop. That's what it is. It's not that I'm not even going to say it's the whole community. It's it's the radicals who who make shit about their ego. Like that one person that's out here, like if you think you're going to stop me <laughs> from using the woman's bathroom, <laughs> I want to see you try. I, I want to see you try. Go, go in that bathroom. Like, what the bathroom, fuck? My little baby going there to use the bathroom. I want to see you try. You're going to have a present waiting for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, But you want to be a woman. Say it again. Say it again. You're going to have a present <laughs> waiting <laughs> for you. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> like, bro, like, no, bro. Yeah. Like I said, like, bro, I do not have a problem with trans people fucking reading a book to my kids. I don't understand why you got to do that, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not against it. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I just honest, don't understand. I might, I'm, I might have a problem. And I'm, and I'm all with you reading books to my kids about people, what books? Be, uh, books about people being different. You know what I'm saying? Man, I, man don't read my kid no fucking books. <laughs> <laughs> we got our own books. But it be books like, you know, uh, um, it's, Dude, uh, I you, don't, it, I it don't. be books like, you know, sometimes people have more than one dad. Like, they might have two dads. And that's the thing that's going on. Like, it's kids in my kids' school right now. Like, I'm cool with them. They have, it's some kids who have two fathers, two mothers. Um, one of them has a transgender mom. And they cool peoples. They cool peoples. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I have nothing against them. You know, so like I said, it's not them. It's the ones that be like, I want to see you stop me. <laughs> I want to see you. Chuck I got a Norris. present waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, and you got a fucking dress on, double D titties, your fucking glasses on. You look like a, I don't know where you You look like fucking, I just miss Doubtfire <laughs> on fucking steroids. I just Check hate. Out, I want to see you try. I just hate, and, and I don't wanna, I understand why a lot of women aren't as, but they probably are, just not on social media. I just hate when they're just like, I'm just as woman as this natural woman. I, that just that boils yeah. my blood because it's like, no, you're not. You're not, bro. I, I wouldn't watch somebody do a whole thing. They came in front of the panel and was like, I, I have, I have ladies in my family and my friends and who are you women. She said, he said, I have ladies in my in my in my <laughs> nigga. What? <laughs> I have ladies in my family. I hope so. Bitch. Yeah, he, he, he was saying like I have ladies in my family who are real women and real women who are my friends, and they say I'm just as women as them. And it's Them just bitches like, are stupid. <laughs> and, it's, it's like, and this people this, are stupid. This comes from somebody not wanting to hurt your feelings and say, "Yo, okay, I understand what you what you want to do. Like I'll accept it, but you're not a woman." I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. I am. I like. I don't understand why you just can't be you, lo. Just do you over there, man. Yeah. Like, like Zaza, like Zaza, don't, Zaza just do Zaza. You know what I'm saying? Zaza just do Zaza, man. Just do you. You do not have to make it known every time you walk into the room. I'm trans, <laughs> and I dare you to call me sir. I dare you to call me sir. <laughs> hey, everybody. Do I look like a sir to you? No one even said anything to you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like gonna, I, I call gonna... everybody my boy. <laughs> I was at a job. I was at a job one time, and I kind of, you know, it was a uh, trans. I, I, now I'm confused, woman or man. It was a trans, and, and I, I, I said something <laughs> like, you know, oh man, yeah, he he was acting crazy. And then you know, somebody pulled me to the side and was like, yeah, man, I just, you know, my pronouns. You know, she she identifies as a woman. And then I just was like, what? I don't give a fuck. And, and, That's and why I, I just stopped talking to y'all. I caught myself, and I, and I, I had to say, whoa. Let me be in agreement in this moment and understanding it before I lose my job. It like a man, huh? It was a dude transitioning to a woman. Yeah, and I, and, and and but you know my mind is like, man, all this, man, he's tripping. Like, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's <laughs> so many trans people in my neighborhood, bro. Mm -hmm. They be fro frolicking around the neighborhood and shit, and like, hey, bro, like I'd be like. <laughs> Where are the trans people that? Where's the trans women that actually look like? I'm looking for one that actually can fool me. Yeah, yeah. Because I up. haven't been. I feel like I'm like a hundred and oh right now. I haven't been fooled yet. Bro, I don't, so when these niggas be out here talking about, 
I didn't know. Like on Atlanta. <laughs> How you not know that's yeah. a nigga? I'm literally looking at the five o'clock shadow. Like, what the fuck? Like, I I don't understand. When a nigga tell me he got tricked, you knew. You knew. And I don't know about you, bro, but you knew. My kids, they're not going to hold back no punches. My I, kids I, don't either. They, 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 I, I might have to give it like, yo, everybody different. Like, all right, cool. You Nori be like, <laughs> my kids. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, when I told Nori, sometimes, I said sometimes, you know, sometimes, uh, Sometimes kids can have more than one dad. No, he said. <laughs> I said, like London, London, London is the fucking police in my house. Progressive. London is a fucking rat, man, a snitch, man. You can't do shit without London goddamn telling and talking, man. Low goddamn came around there. That's not cool. I said. <laughs> I said, here she go. That's not cool. My friend Caleb. My friend Caleb has two dads, mm-hmm. and. He's just like me. There's nothing different. I said, London, she's four. Relax. She's never Bro, seen that shit. All of my kids, <laughs> like if 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 something if we out and about and we see, you know, like a like a, tra- a transgender or something, like a, a a man that's a man that's in women's clothing. Uh-huh. My kids, everybody just hit the head like everybody and I had to be like, all right, y'all, come on. Like it, it ain't everybody had lives different lives, but they just don't give a fuck. They want to know why is that man? Why are you doing that? Why why? Why are you doing that? Yeah, my kids been my kids are kids are curious, but that's why they're trying to teach certain rhetoric with rhetoric to the A fucking children. book is not gonna stop my kids from squinching, squinching their eyes up. They they can have <laughs> I don't know why I had to squish my eyes just now. A fucking book is not gonna stop my kids from I'm sorry, man. I, I'm not trying to cross the line and say nothing dumb, bro. But I'm not sure, about nigga, to. We crossed that line today. <laughs> I'm not about to fill. I'm not about to fill my kids' heads with imaginary shit. Like they not. They're not shit people. Treat people how you want to be treated. Okay, cool. But we. They're not about to live in some fucking imaginary. I just. Fairy I just don't tale, want. I'm sorry. I just don't want what they do to be Im- implemented in my life on a like something that I have to do. I do feel like trans people should have their own sports. I feel like they should have their own. Um, they own bathrooms. Above, above all, trans people should be safe. Unless you have that goddamn, that full on snip snip and all that other shit, man. I don't know. I don't even know if you got that. I don't fucking know. It just makes everything easier. If if I if my daughter went to the bathroom and I saw you going in there and I went in there and you come out, you pulling out your guns trying to shoot me because I'm trying to protect my daughter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it's just a whole bunch of my kids going to be like, what the fuck is going on, man? What the fuck is going on in this world? You don't need bro? to leave, bro. And I live in such a fucking gay neighborhood, bro. Like the other day, I almost got beat up by a gay person, right. bro. I was just, I just did a U turn at a four way intersection, which is legal. This motherfucker was walking his dog. He decides to walk. I have the kids in the car. You know what I'm saying? I have the dog in the car also. And I ain't talking about no wolf, wolf. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? I'm just bullshit. I ain't had, I ain't had that in the car. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, okay. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker's like. Cussing me out, I rolled the window down like you know, like big boy. On I rolled the window down like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, bro? Like, you fucking idiot, you making U turns. I'm like, bro, why are you so angry, bro? Yeah, relax. Just going crazy. And this motherfucker's like six foot six. It's a big gay t- person, like a bear. Yeah. You would if you heard if he heard his fucking voice, you probably chuckled a little bit because you'd be like, ain't no way that voice is coming out of that big gay man. Ain't no way, man. He was like. Oh, Asshole! Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like, what the fuck is? I say, bro, I have kids in the car, bro. Yeah. Like, relax. And then he hit me with that. Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god! Jesus. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to stress you out. I feel bad now. I'm like, see what I'm saying, man? This is how shit happens, man. Yeah. You're out here gay and angry. You're frolicking through the gay goddamn neighbor, neighborhood, angry at me. We two minorities. <laughs> I thought, oh, we, 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 oh, we're two. You're gay. I'm black. I'm black with locks. I look like the nigga that they don't want in the neighborhood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I look like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, tattoos and shit. If I had gold teeth, they would have been got me out of here. You know what I'm saying? But this we're both the- minorities, bro. You was ready to beat me up because I made a legal U-turn. Bro, this is the this is the world now, bro. Like, this is this is it, bro. Gay people are here. Trans people are here. They should be. They should be safe. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They should be able to get jobs. You know for I me? Mean? They should be Straight able to be up. in relationships. But when it comes down shit. to like, you know, but when it comes the to the bathroom thing, the sports thing, it's just, bro, we we are literally seeing that this shit is not fair. Women naturally, you know, there's no. I don't, I'm keeping the buck with you. There's no naturally born woman that wrestles. That boxes, that that does UFC, that does volleyball, that plays basketball, yeah. that plays foot 
uh, women's football that does any athletic sports track that thinks that this shit is fucking fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's all I'm saying. Like, it's easy to think it's fair when you just going to work and coming home. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Playing video games. They have rights. You know what I'm saying? But when yeah. you fucking actually play a sport and you're a, you've been fighting your whole life, now you have to fight this, this fucking transsexual woman mm-hmm. that used to be top 100 fighters yeah. out of men. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. A big a Imagine Joanna Man trans. right now in the, in the WNBA. <laughs> Imagine Joanna Man right now in the WNBA. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Brittany Griner has a deep ass voice. He sounds like a man, looks like a man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm keeping it real with you. LeBron will break her in half. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Windmill John Mar- dunks. John Morant will dunk on her ass. You get what I'm saying? Darnell, is that you? It's Darnisha. Man. Oh. Come on, you put Brittany Griner in the league right now, she's getting bullied. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what anybody talking about. None of those women are, wait, are, will, are able to go to the NBA. I'm not saying they can't drop no buckets. But you can't come to the paint, bro. For that for that to happen, like they would have to play all the way through high school, through college. Like they would not be able to just come. I'm keeping the buck, bro. It's only the trans. It's only niggas (laughs) that's doing it. It's all, bro. We we we're not having these issues with the women that's transitioning to men. Them motherfuckers is cool as hell, bro. Like my nigga, my nigga Jake is one of my best. You know Jake. Mm -hmm. You know, used to be Shelly, but Jake. Drake is Jake is transitioning into a man. Hey, Jake. Jake is my nigga, bro. Hey, I, I will I will beat a nigga ass about Jake, bro. Jake is my Jake nigga. Jake put me on the Amy Winehouse. Man, Jake is my nigga, bro. Tell the Jake. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. We don't bro, have you not noticed that most of the issues that we're having <laughs> is with niggas doing too much. Just relax. It's, <laughs> just, 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 just make it change. Be a, hey, bro, this gotta be a clip right here, bro. Just make right it here, change. Right here, Johnny. Niggas. Ruin everything, bro. Damn. Like, think about it. We are not having no issues with the trans women who, I mean, the trans men, women who are transitioning to, to men. men. It's the men who Those are transitioning is, bro, to women. I love women. a cool stud. Yeah, I, I fucks with the studs, bro. I fucks with the gay women. Like, motherfuckers be cool. They if worst the worst thing that we that we see if they trying too hard. Mm-hmm. It's never on no goddamn, hey, but it's never on no you trying to go to the bro. Uh, to be honest with you, bro, we so cool with it. It's different, bro, because if I saw a trans man walk into the men's bathroom, I might wash my hands and that. Oh, might not even know. Welcome. Might not even know. Yeah. Welcome to the men's room. We might not even know, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, think about it. Think how think how many women that are transitioning into men that we don't even know that they they might be, bro. We might not even know that they're fucking men. Like That's they used true. to be women, That's but true. with women, niggas men, be halfway doing it, and then men want just, me to call you a woman. Men just look too fucking mus- muscular in a skirt. But some I of can't them, get bro, past that. Some of them niggas, bro, the ones you see on TV, they be like, "Oh yeah, like okay, you can pass as a woman." They go the whole mile, but some of these niggas are just lazy. These niggas not even trying. You just putting a wig on and putting some breast implants in. <laughs> you're not even attractive. <laughs> like you're not even pretty with it. With six inch muscles and goddamn. You look like a man. Like back you all the, hunched up. You look. You look crazy, bro. You all look right. like you're trying. All right, we just move. We've we've crossed the line way too many times. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, just saying, bro. You like a nigga in the wig. It's a big difference. And we'll leave it at that. And we'll leave it at we'll that. We'll leave it at that. All trans people come on the show. We should have a trans person come on the show. I feel like we're going to fight. No, no, no. I, I really want to have a trans person. I feel person like we're going to fight. That, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't like, that really, I feel like I'm going on to the opposite end. One. You're going you're gonna to attack the woman? No, I feel like they're going to attack me. Because if it's, if it's a on. trans man going to a woman, then that's I, a I feel like they're going to attack me. Attack you? I feel like I'm going to say something and it's going to not go well and then we're going to end up jumping this person and then we're going to be, all be canceled. <laughs> what I think gonna happen? We we'll just we'll just delete the footage. Anyways, <laughs> so let's ask this: Is two part question? Is no sex a valid reason for cheating? No. And is lack of sex a valid reason to end an otherwise good relationship? Yes. Lack of sex is a valid reason. No sex. Be, no and you sex. do your cheat. That's just that's if you're cheating in the relationship. That's wrong. You're not happy. Yeah. Regardless. But no, uh, you never know what's wrong. Like, so if your woman can't have sex, you're gonna cheat on her. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's different reasons of why. Why can't she have sex? It could be anything. She could be having issues with her vagina. She could have uh, extra long, unforeseeable shit. Like, bro, like, Mm. like, bro. Some women have irregular periods, so their period might last a two weeks. 
You know what I'm saying? On and off, on and off. Might not be in the mood. It might have some hormone situations. The older women get, the more it's like, what happens if your woman goes through menopause? Mm. Her vagina is extra dry. Sex is fucking it hurts. uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happens? Like, you never know what could happen. Like, then, what if you have a fucking baby? Some women don't want to have, some, some people never have sex the whole pregnancy. Some women don't want to have sex after the baby because it just everything just feels got to get different right. and it has to get right and their connection is mainly no with sex the baby. during a relationship is never unless it's just like no it don't, don't just break up if they if she's not fucking you because she's just fucking lazy or she doesn't want to yeah. fuck you then break, break up. up now now listen now if if it's my wife and she had some type of foreseeable issue and sex was no longer a thing that could happen or I wouldn't leave my wife. Nah, that's that's something I would push through. Because sex should of not dictate the relationship. If you really love that person, sex is not going to dictate the relationship. If your wife can't have sex, if your girlfriend, if you love your girlfriend and you feel like you want to marry her, if she cannot have sex, that should not make or break y'all relationship. If she doesn't want to have sex with you, then end the relationship. I'll be honest, and I'm sorry. If it's if it's a girlfriend. Sometimes you just gotta just you gotta count your losses. It might be time for y'all to go y'all separate ways. Well, it depends because sometimes you not you don't have the financial like you know if you want to have if you're saving up for like the ring process like you you know for a fact that this is going to be your wife. But you know marriage is not, it's not the commitment part that's holding you back. It's the financial part that's mm-hmm. holding you back. Yeah, it depends on the circumstances. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But if if it's just your girlfriend and she not fucking you, and it's been months. And it's because she's fucking lazy and she just doesn't want to have sex. Then nigga, yeah, get the fuck out of there. I was on a, I was on some type of forum. I, cause I, be, I be on forums and I be trying to like find different questions for the show. And something like that similar came up. And it was mad woman on there that just be like, I just, I haven't given my boyfriend sex in three in, in three weeks because I'm lazy and I'm just tired. I'd be like, I would get the fuck out of there so yeah, fast. See, I different. would split. It's, and then, but it also depends on what kind of nigga you is. Are mm-hmm. you a nigga that's going to work, or are you a nigga that's at home waiting for her to come home from work to give some buns? They give some buns because that might that's might not be. That's a big. To give it up. Some of these niggas are sorry, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like we got we got to also admit also, that some of these niggas are sorry, bro. And also, this some of these guys are always on their girl. Leg. Yeah. And like like And your shit whack. Your shit whack. You know what I'm saying? She loves you. Relax. She like her vibrator more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, bro. Like that's got, right. Like, bro, so, I feel like if my women stop wanting to have sex with me, I'm going to want to know why. Yeah. And what I could be doing. And a lot of times she might just say, I'm sorry, I'm tired and shit like that. And really, she don't want to hurt your feelings. Cause have, you're a you're a bum. Have you have you uh, ever experienced something like that in a relationship? Yeah, in that relationship. It was because she was fucking cheating. Damn. <laughs> Knee slapper. That was my fucking my my my, my first baby mother. Yeah, like. So so she just was we, like we wasn't having sex, and I knew it wasn't because my dick was was whack. Mm-hmm. It was because she was busy fucking other people. But what if she was doing it because your dick was whack? I know it wasn't whack. <laughs> look at you. Look at it. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I know it wasn't whack. <laughs> this is to be the first clip that you put up on Instagram. I know it wasn't. Whack. I know because I'm me, bro. It's I'm a, me. We just talked but about. I, we just reason, talked about this one. But one of the reasons why I know it wasn't whack is because we were good all the way up until the arguing and the fighting and all the other shit. You get what I'm saying? That played a part too. We drifted apart from each other. So yeah. when that shit happens, and you can have the best sex in the world, but when she's disconnected mentally, you know what I'm saying? And emotionally, it, can't go it don't matter. Like at that point, the sex just hurts. Because yeah. I'm over here pounding away when you don't even want to fuck me because you're not <laughs> mentally there. You're not yeah. you're not emotionally there. I, that's, how, that's how I know because prior to making our child, I was t- fucking the shit out of you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get know what I'm saying? So now, like, if you went from having passionate, great sex to no sex at all, either someone's cheating or someone's about to cheat. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's humans, bro. Like, that's... You know what I mean? Like a lot of times, you can have the best dick in the world, bro. It's, dick ain't everything, bro. I probably don't know now one nigga that think that his dick is weak. Everybody thinks they are a king stroking it. Nah, flip bro, it, bro. I can tell you. Hey, it. We can extend this a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell y'all the story about one time I had. I was on this medication called Rimron, right? Okay. And I was taking this medication, and it's medication I I kept taking even after I got out of jail because it was helping me with depression. Mm-hmm. So I got back on it around the time that Amber passed away. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was really depressed. Yeah. And the, some of the, see, when I was on it before, I was in prison. So I never noticed the side effects. So when I got out of prison and I was taking the medicine on the outside, 
I realized that the side effects were one of the side effects was ED. Mm-hmm. You know what? Erectile ED? dysfunction. Yeah, my dick wouldn't work. And I didn't know that. My dog didn't even tell me that. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know that. So it's like, I had a situation where, like, I was, I, I had the one girl that I wanted badly. I mm-hmm. think I called y'all. You called I me. called y'all. You definitely called I me. had, I was like, bro, finally, bro. Like, this was the one girl. I'm talking about years of waiting. Mm-hmm. Everything finally lined up. I had my chance. I was face first in the pussy, mm-hmm. doing my thing. My dick was working. And then out of nowhere, it just, <laughs> it just went down, <laughs> bro. Hey, bro, like. Then he, then he got to go do the shame, the eat her bro. up for three hours, face, oh face plant. God, you, you're bro. not worth nothing else. I was so embarrassed, bro. And then, so that didn't, so that didn't work out. So then I, another girl, I thought maybe it was my, maybe it was my nerves or, my nerves or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been going through some shit. I thought maybe it was my nerves. I'm Googling depression. I'm Googling, but I never linked the medication. There's another girl I was getting ready to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And this, I'm talking about everything was perfect. Yeah. Just did not work, bro. It did not work, bro. And I'm talking about, oh, embarrassing. Yeah. I had to call y'all, bro. And I was like, bro, what is going on? I had to go to therapy. I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and say like, oh, it's a natural thing. But it, it, it's probably so many things outside of like your, your medicine. I believe there's there's plenty of guys who, have, especially if you've been active and yeah. moving from you know moving around, it's plenty of guys that probably had one situation where it was just like I just Man, was not at two. my best. I had two, mm-hmm. and bro, like I, I felt so. And bro, I knew it was something wrong with me. I knew it wasn't just me. I knew it was something else because even when I went to like beat my meat, like jerk off. I couldn't get hard, bro. And that's when I was scared. I called the doctor immediately. Yeah. And I was like, yo, something's wrong with me, bro. I'm, I'm only 30, at the time, 31 years old. Yeah. I, my dick should be working. I was just over this bitch pound town. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden, my shit not working. And like, bro, I panicked. And then he told me the medication. And bro, like, I stopped taking that shit and my, I came back. Yeah. Now I'm in a relationship. There you, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations. <laughs> but Congratulations. bro, like, yeah, bro, I was one of those niggas. So man, bro, if your dick not working, do not be ashamed, my nigga. Like, call Get your help. doctor yeah. and figure that shit out because the old in your thirties, that's when that shit start to hit. Especially if you've been taking supplements all throughout your twenties. That's when if you've been taking like creatine and, and all them <laughs> workout shits in your twenties, all that working out, that shit causes E D after ten years. And that's man, that's that's <laughs> for real. That's literally the worst thing that can have to happen to a man. To a man. Fuck up with your ego. Especially if you feel like you are just a put pick him up and drop him down type of man. Yeah. And then that thing don't work, it's just like what what yeah, what man. am I good for? Go get your Bluetooth. You know what I'm saying? I did the Bluetooth for a second. I was scared, man. I was like, my dick. Did the Bluetooth do something? Bro, the Bluetooth is way better than that dumbass, ghetto-ass, nasty-ass honey they out here taking. And this shit is actually- You tried the honey, too? I did the honey on some on some late-night freak shit, and that shit had my heart racing. Yeah. I'm never doing that shit again. But the Bluetooth- I gave I gave I gave my girl the best dick of my life, man. I want to try I want to try a honey pack. <laughs> don't do it. You don't do it. It's not worth your life. I'm telling you that shit's not FDA approved. And neither, I'm neither, not, is, honey neither pack. is Bluetooth, but you have to talk to a doctor to get Bluetooth. So you have to go through a a, a physical to get Bluetooth. It's always one, it's always one nigga that's hyping something up, man. One of my niggas came to me and said, "Yeah, bro, I tried a honey pack and bro act like he was just fucking." Bro, ghetto. I don't niggas that do it every fucking day. It's only a matter of time. Every day. Yes, niggas do that shit every fucking day, Jeez. bro. My girl used to work at One Way Market. Niggas come in there and buy that honey every fucking day, bro. I don't fuck with that shit. That shit is from another country and it's not fucking FDA approved, my nigga. Yeah. That shit don't even have English on it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Fuck that. The honey pack in German, bro. Shit, only, only thing that's the only thing that's on it is royal honey. Everything else is Jerusalem, like fucking Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking eating. I'm not fucking putting that shit in my body. Fuck no. Uh, I'm not. And people be out here doing dumb shit. No, niggas, you niggas, yeah. my niggas dying every day. <laughs> niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, niggas, niggas taking the honey like they sipping syrup. Niggas overdosing on dumb shit. Like fuck yeah. no. Go ahead. if you if your dick not working, I I I tell I think you should try Bluetooth. It's the safest option. I did it for like a month because my I had to get back from that rim run, bro. Yeah, they should. They should. They you should. should. Shout out the I, I can stand by the blue chew, bro. And like I did it for a month, and I was like, I don't need this shit no more. I'm good now. You know what I'm saying? But bro, that was that was that was a big blow to my ego. 
you know what I'm saying? A big, big blow to my ego, bro. And I was now I'm back though. I'm back. Yeah, I think I God, I think God, everything is still good and healthy in my end. But like, yeah. and listen, we're as we get up in age. I don't want to say we need to prepare for it, but it's just you definitely got to prepare. It's just a part of life. Nigga, my daddy is fucking seventy four years old, and he's fucking with no Viagra. He's just out here laying pipe. Damn. Every time I every time I get in his car, I open the glove compartment. It's a pack of condoms in there. Mm-hmm. This nigga's getting he gets so much cheeks that my little brother who lives out there, not 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 Mighty Man, but Don Don, the one that live out there in Burkdale, mm-hmm. this nigga, he telling my dad, "Hey man, you stop bringing these bitches up in this house, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's getting more buns than none of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you putting D out there like that, bro? Come on, pops. My pops, 74 years old. His dick working just fine. Almost better than mine. I'm like, God damn, man. 74, bro. 70, but be 75 this year. That's a blessing. This nigga out here laying pipe. Yeah. <laughs> you know shout out to Pops. Got him a 50 year old girlfriend and shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to my Pops, man. Shout out to shout Pops. Out to my daddy, man. That shout nigga out pops. here laying pipe at 75, man. This might be random, but I wonder, I wonder if Ron Isley is still picking him up and dropping him down. Any yeah, nigga that put Isley. Beijing on his shit, he's getting cheeks. He's getting cheeks. He's getting the old cheeks. No, Owen would be carrying Shout out that. to Pop. Shout out to Ron Isley. Owen would be dragging um, that wagon. What's, what's his name? Charlie? Uh, hey, girl. How you he's do? definitely Charlie getting Wilson. cheeks. He is on songs with Kanye. That nigga's on songs with Busting Sun Down. Right now. Hey, he is the most he is the most like known old nigga that mm-hmm. people, people don't know. Like people do not know that Charlie, last name Wilson, is still on niggas songs today. Like mm-hmm. dropping new songs today. That makes that call my grandma's number. My studio number. Man, come on, man. You can email me. All right, man. We gotta get up out of here, man. I love this podcast today. This was a vibe. Today. We're gonna probably get beat up by a trans person outside. But you know, come so on the show. I, Literally, I, come I on the show. Y'all. I just really wish the trans women wouldn't do so fucking much. The trans men, I fuck with y'all. Y'all niggas stay out the news. Y'all ain't out here trying to get in these sports. Y'all know what time it is. <laughs> fuck. You don't want to get on that football field with us. This show you know is, what I'm saying? This show is dedicated to all trans people. We love y'all. But the trans women always out here with your fucked up wigs and shit. I tried to I'm, give you I tried I'm to give y'all some room. I'm, 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 I'm Once again, this episode of the Savage Report is it's dedicated not that many fine to all ass trans, trans people. women. We love you. I'm just keeping it Be real. Be safe. Be I'm safe. The, the ones that be out here at them county hall meetings and doing the most and screaming in the mics, be looking crazy. You look like a man in the dress. Johnny, all right? you don't look him. fine. I'm an ally. <laughs> he's put the not. <laughs> he will not get let you come to his house. <laughs> if you come to his front door, he's going to close the fucking door. <laughs> you will not read my kid any fucking books. <laughs> all right, man. We out this bitch. We're definitely going to be put in like the fucking. The, the the weirdo classification on YouTube. You so? The ones that Republicans. We're gonna yeah. be definitely Trump supporting. <laughs> Report the savage. We, right, should we, we show some merch or should we hold off on that? We got some merch in the building. Some um, Oh y'all bring that shit out. Some rough drafts. Yeah. Johnny, 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 pull yours. I like yours better, Johnny. I fucking love that Report the Savage. Report the that is, oh I didn't see it like that. I looked at that as That's definitely report, coming out. Uh, and Johnny, you could come hop in the front too. Man, listen, we got listen the whole the team. We got a whole team working on it. We got a whole team of designers and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, listen, if you design merch too, reach out in the inbox, man. We got yeah. some big shit coming. And buy some fucking candles, y'all. Buy some candles, y'all. Buy this this man candles. has been selling candles like crazy. I'm going to make it my duty to sell four candles this week. You're lying because you just fucking did that. I know you're lying. <laughs> Anytime you do that, yo. You know, so I got sometimes I got greasy skin. I wanted to make sure my nose make wasn't. A make a ten count. I don't sell at least fifteen. All right, bro. Let's wrap All it right, up. We out this bitch. Y'all be safe. We love y'all. Stay down. blessed. We love y'all. Pray every day. Go. This nigga right here.